Hey gang, it's David again, back to you with yet another design tutorial. And in this one, we're gonna learn how to use the select tool in Adobe XD. So if uh, that's something that you're interested in, just keep watching. So by the way, this is the first in the series of upcoming videos on all the Adobe XD tools. So you know, uh, in subsequent videos, we are going to learn all the tools that you can actually find right here in the toolbox. And uh, the select tool is the first tool that you will find here. So as the name suggests, uh, the select tool is, uh, you know, <laughs> is used to select uh, the objects. So if you click on an object, uh, you are going to uh, select it. But sometimes, like uh, in my case, as you can see, you might select like this, the whole section instead of a, a specific element. So sometimes just to select a like a group, in my case, it's better to use just double click on well on that specific group. And as you can see, I'm selecting this web design card uh, right here. Uh, and by the way, this design is the same design that you will find in my course on Adobe XD, to which the link you will find in the description to the of this video. So this is clicking versus double clicking. But uh, with this tool selected, you can also use uh, some modifier keys to, in a way, enhance the, the selection process. So, for instance, if you, if you hold down the control key or command if you're on a Mac, you are going to select single elements within specific groups. So, right now, I am holding down the control key and I'm clicking on these specific elements within this uh, group. And even though I am not selecting like this uh, group right here, I'm going to hold down the control key and I can just, you know, select elements that are within uh, those uh, those groups. And if you want to, of course, select more than just one uh, element, you can simply shift click on multiple elements. And sometimes you can just, you know, select some more elements by simply clicking uh, and dragging. Now, you can also click drag and then just press the uh, press and hold down the alt key and of course option if you're on a mac to simply clone an element and uh, this uh, transformation is uh, not complete um, you know until you just simply release the mouse button if you do that you can see that this guy is being nicely cloned if you just press and hold down the alt key drag and then uh, let go of the alt key you will see that you're basically just moving your element like that now, as I mentioned before, with the, with the select tool, you can press and hold down the control key and simply get to specific element within your group. And in this case, I've controlled uh, clicked on this, uh, this rectangle right here, so the background for this icon. But however, if I just double click one more time, you can see that right now this, uh, well, what's basically like a dynamic shape is turning into like a bare bone, like a very, very basic, basic shape, which is a path in this case. So before that, if I can just click on it one more time, you can see that we have all the options that are like specific for this kind of a shape. So a rounded rectangle in this case. But if I double click on it, you can see that uh, the, the property inspector changes. And right now we can simply adjust anchor points within this specific element. So I, I could just you know, click and drag on this anchor point if I wanted to. I could shift click on two elements and drag these two guys at the same time if I wanted to, if I can just select them properly. So like that. But I could also, if we move our select tool over a path segment, you can see that it's going to dynamically change into a pen tool. So if we now just click somewhere here, we're going to add an anchor point, click here, add an anchor point, click here, add an anchor point, and so on. And to remove it, all you just have to do you know, is to select an anchor point and then just press the delete key on our keyboard. Now with this tool, you can also like you know, dynamically uh, change uh, the, uh, the anchor points so you can turn them from like sharp to uh, too smooth. But I think it would be better if we just maybe selected like this guy right here, so this, this path. So if I now just hover over this anchor point and double click, you can see that I am making it like you know, very, very smooth. We now have this direction handles being attached to this anchor point. And if I do that one more time, you can see that, see that, uh, that it goes back to like being like a regular sharp uh, anchor point, like a sharp path segment. So with the select tool, you can also, as we already know, you can move 
elements and you can also when doing that you can add uh, some uh, some other modifier key so if i add like the shift key to this transformation i am simply constraining the movement of my uh, of my uh, selected uh, element and if i press and hold down the alt key you can see that we can uh, well, you can see that we can see uh, these uh, like dynamic uh, like information that uh, that tells us um, that shows us the distances between you know, the specific element and other elements or maybe like the edges uh, of our, of our design or of our artboard and of course we can rotate our element so if i just hover over very very closely to this guy right here like on the top I'm going to just click and drag to rotate this guy. Of course, if I do it with the shift key pressed, you can see that we are basically doing it like in, in specific incre increments. You can also like resize our elements. And of course, this is a group in this case. So when, when resizing groups, you have to be aware of one thing. I mean, if we just now click and drag, you can see that we are kind of like um, distorting the distances between the elements within a group. But if we just add the shift key to our uh, well transformation, basically, uh, we are simply changing uh, the, the size of the elements within that group, but we are retaining uh, these, uh, these, the, uh, these distances between the elements. Yeah, so there you go. This is what you can do with the select tool. So it's, it's far more than just, you know, selecting uh, elements with it. You can resize them, you can clone them, you can even uh, modify paths within your within your elements so definitely check out this tool if you haven't haven't yet done so and definitely come back for some more adobe xd and other web design and graphic design related videos that are coming coming up so as always thanks for watching and until next time have a nice design